the making of a rag doll. My first rag doll. I'm not going to put you in here, girl. See the parts? See her getting born? It's so nice to have day, days off work. Ooh. You go back to work next week? No, I don't have to go back until the 15th. Ooh, you got a good time off. Yeah, Marshall's going to have a birthday. Now, the clip, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And you can't cut the seam like you said. Mm -hmm. But what you did, didn't it, it wasn't bad. It worked out okay because of the kind of fabric that it is. I'm just learning how to sew. So. A friend of mine called and she said... Oh, so you got to make a whole lot of those. Yeah. Done. You got to go around the curve mm -hmm. so that when you turn it, it lays flat. Okay. If you don't do that. Now, on a knit fabric, it's not as bad. You could probably turn it on a knit and you'd be all right. But if you try it on that other fabric, the broadcloth, it'll pucker. It'll pucker like crazy. Mm. It won't work well. Okay, so, so the knit is more forgiving. For curves and things like that, sometimes it is more forgiving. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it's, it's more of a challenge, depending upon what it is you're doing. So my friend called and said, I'm going to the store because it's going to snow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a storm. I know. So on your way home, stop and get whatever you need. I know. Because I'm going to try to get out of here. After you, when you leave, I'm going to take oh, grandson. Oh, we better hurry up, huh? Oh, we, they, it's not supposed to start snowing until 3 a.m. We ain't going to be that long. That's what they said. Oh, that's good. That's I thought said. it was going to be about okay. 5 in the afternoon. Turn. Okay. Well, it's about that now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What time is it now? It is about 5. It's five, almost 5.30. Okay, we got to turn this inside out. Mm -hmm. Rag doll. You remember that Four season song? Rag, mm -hmm. Rag doll. I didn't know I liked rag dolls. Probably just like dolls. Yep. Uh -huh. I think this, it's a, this is appealing to our inner child. Not yours. You're right. No, you're right. <laughs> I love dolls. I Me loved too. dolls. I wish I had now the dolls that I had as a kid. Mm -hmm. I had this Barbie doll collection, mm -hmm. and I hit a teenager, and I thought, I don't need these anymore. And I gave all my Barbies away to my cousin. Oh. Boy, <laughs> you know, because I was doing the, the grown-up adult thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish I had my Barbie dolls. I yeah, sure do. I think we all gave our dolls away too fast. I think so too. I think we women don't grow up. That we were fast. trying to grow up so fast. Yeah. And we really should have allowed ourselves to Just keep be the kids dolls. longer. Yeah. And my mother loved dolls. She Aww. loved dolls. She had this ancient doll. And I, I tried to find that doll when she passed away. And I could not find that doll anywhere. It was the old doll with the wooden face Ooh. and the wooden arms and hands, but it had cotton body mm. that was stuffed. I don't know to this day what happened to that doll. Mm. I wish I'd had that one. I don't need about that much stuff. Here we go. Right. I save um, paper towel stuff, paper towel uh, uh, rolls, mm -hmm. thinking I could probably create something out of those. But I just don't know what. Maybe a doll. Maybe. It wouldn't be a huggable doll. No, it'd just be something that had to. It's something to look display. at. Yeah. yeah. These are a little harder than the urns because yeah. they're longer. Uh huh. So what there we go. There we go. Are we having workshops tomorrow at the church? What's tomorrow? Saturday? Is it Saturday? Tomorrow's Friday. Oh, Thursday. wow. I lost a day. 
I'm no, going the to the No, the workshop bed. for the um, hair thing, the hair th wrap is the 17th. Oh, the gale. The gale, absolutely. The gale. Mm -hmm. That's the 17th. Now, what's a gale? African head wrap. The African head wrap? Usually what do they use um, it for? You see the Nigerian woman with those beautiful twisted head things on their head? Mm -hmm. That's part of their outfits a lot of times. Oh. I don't know. Now, I don't know um, if it has like special significance. That I don't know yet. I'm going to wait on Christine to tell us. Mm. Is Christine a historian? She's the one that's doing the head wraps. So okay. I'm guessing she might know something about them because you've seen her at church and you've seen her wearing them and they're gorgeous. Oh, that Christine. That Christine. A little bold. Ah, Christine. Christine. Uh, yes. French last name. Uh huh. Bordeaux. Uh, Bordeaux, okay. Mm -hmm. Bordeaux, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that Christine. She's doing the workshop. Oh. I knew she was. She could do crafts. Oh man, she sews. Her stuff is so so tight. It's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. And she's another one who could probably teach people how to do stuff. Mm -hmm. like this. It's fun to be able to do stuff for yourself. Yeah, but we've got a whole generation who's lost this. Yeah, we need to teach the kids. Yep. If they would sit still long enough to. You know, think it's not stupid to learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You know, I was trying to get grandson in there interested in some kind of thing. He's just not interested in, of course, not anything I'm interested in. No. But, you know, <laughs> something. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, well, do you like cookies? How about, how about we do some baking? He didn't say no, <laughs> but he didn't quite say yes. But I bet if we bake a cookie that he likes. Mm hmm That'll be something he'll probably want to do. But he, he cooked, he, he made some um, chicken cutlets. Mm -hmm. Girl, that boy went and bought panko. Oh, cuts. he hooked it up. He hooked it up. It was good. <laughs> who told him about the panko? Did he think His of it? His stepbrother. He's got an older stepbrother who he enjoys, and he enjoys spending time with, and then oh, he likes wow. to cook. So he showed him what to do. Oh. And he remembered. He dipped it in the egg wash. And oh. He dipped it in the breadcrumbs. Then he dipped it in something else. I'm going, all right, little boy. Mm -hmm. You better work this thing. Okay, mm -hmm. this, this leg is, I don't like this. Mine is lumpy. Yeah, mine is lumpy too. Well, she's it's my gonna, first she's gonna, doll. She's going she's gonna to have lumpy doll. Lumpy yeah. legs. Wait, That's okay. She's going to get She's going to be old. <laughs> oh, lumpy <no>. legs. <laughs> oh, don't start out old. <laughs> See, mine is lumpy, and I just figure when I get done hug hugging her and all that stuff. She'll be unlumpy. She's going to get more lumpy. Ooh, it'll, it'll distribute what needs to go, probably. Is yours about the same at the bottom? Now, you see how they almost look like different colors? Can you tell? Yeah, a little bit. That's because, look, when I change, it's the way that yeah. we cut it. Yeah, I cut it wrong on the back. I mean, nobody else is going to know, but... Yeah, I'm, I should have African like clothes on, so... Yeah, nobody else is going to know. You need to push some more down the back. Oh, how do you that. do that? Take that pencil, the um, eraser in, and push down as far as you can get it okay. to go. And this better not be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I better not see my face on YouTube with this head. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, boy, that's much better. This is why her legs look like they went together on the picture, because they turn in. That's and they just kind of oh. hit one another. That's why they look like they were. I hope attached. I can make mine do that. Yeah. Yes, because it's the way it's cut. Oh, okay. Maybe the way it was cut. First time. It's my Doing first time well. making it on. Me too. 
Oh, well, yeah. But it's not her first time sewing, though. I tried to make a doll. I probably still have this stuff in, in my house here somewhere. I was trying to make cabbage patch dolls for my kids one year, and I don't think I ever finished them. Shoot, I might that's have to, good. I might have to go look for that stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm thinking maybe more. selling at the arts and crafts uh, things on the, in the summer. Okay. Especially, I wouldn't mind going to uh, farmers. See, not farmers market. You have Eastern to have market. a lot ready to go. Yeah, a lot more than you plan to sell. Sell. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And when we do the 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 women's ministry thing, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll do um, vendors. Mm. If you have your dolls ready, you could be one of the vendors. Oh, okay. Um, Deborah Green's daughter was there, mm -hmm. and she does natural soaps and wow. body whips. And so I bought, I bought. Well, my husband bought it for me. Aww. Um, but he bought me the soap and this body whip. Girl, that body whip, that is awesome. My skin was not looking none too good. I've been using that body whip. It is. Wow. Back to looking like natural. I wonder what she put in there. She has different stuff in it, but it's all natural stuff. Mm. So that means no preservatives. No preservatives. So you got to use it right away. Well, she also says not, you know, you got to store it. You can't get hot because if it gets like hot, it melts. Because mm. it's all natural oils that she whips. Mm. And then once it, once it melts, you can't get it back to the whip. Here you go. Take this. I'm going to do the basting now. I'm going to base with the plot machine. I think I'm going to base by machine. 